It's your last date. Is this your shovel? Uh, no. Possession of a stolen shovel. Don't get officious. You're not yourself when you're officious. That is the curse of a government job. Although we do do a large business. Barley was very big last week. Fifteen hundred... It's a little jaguar. Oh. Looks like a hearse. Very nice. You're compact. Edith, I'd like you to meet my son, Harold. Harold, this is Edith... Uh, Fern. Fern. Very pleased to make your acquaintance. I think you should go and wash up, dear, and join us in the drawing room. A little after dinner liqueur, Harold. Oh, uh, thank you. I don't drink. Oh, it's all right. It's organic. What gives you that special satisfaction? I go to funerals. Slut! Will they really teach me to shoot? Sure they will. A variety of weapons. To use a bayonet? Yes! <laughs> How about hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat? Yes! To strangle someone, choke him, what? squeeze out his life in your own bare hands! I, I think you're getting carried away, uh, Harold. How about to uh, slit his throat? Well, I don't know I about like that. that. You can see the blood spread out. Well, How about souvenirs? Souvenirs? Of your kill. Eyes, ears, nose, scalp, primates. Harold! Hey! What would be the chance of getting one of these? <laughs> Boy, to think I could maybe make my own! Harold, that's disgusting! Do you find the idea of wife swapping distasteful? I even find the question distasteful. Do you enjoy... <laughs> Harold, please! Do you have ups and downs without obvious reason? <laughs> that's you, Harold. Harold, we have got to do something about this light. What? We'll transplant it to the forest. You can't do that. Why not? This is public property. But exactly. I am petitioning for peace. Parasite, Harold. And I came out here to speak. Crazy parasite, commie bastard. Get the hell out of here. Don't you talk to me like that, you little... Oh, Traitor! Traitor! Yes. Right, Remember Nathan Hale, right? Calm down. She's Madame, a please. commie pig. And we're going to nail every last one of you. You'll all end up like this. Oh, Just oh. like oh. this. Phew. Harold. Phew. Phew. Oh, give me that. I'm going to throw that Harold. in the sewer. Madam, Madam, please. She took my head. She took my head. Now calm down, head. Harold. She took Harold, my head. Harold. Harold. I'll kill her. I'll kill her. Harold. I'll kill her. Harold. Get back to head this trouble. Oh, dinner at eight, Harold. And do try and be a little more vivacious. Oh, there you are, madam. Were you not the lady who drove my car off yesterday? Was that the one with the St. Christopher medal on the dashboard? Yes. Then I suppose it was me. Get in, Harold. Were you also the one who painted the saint? Oh, yes. How did you like that? Well, I didn't. Oh, don't be too discouraged. For aesthetic appreciation, oh, it's a little time. <laughs> Gee, this little thing handles well. Ever drive a hearse, Harold? Yeah. <gasps> it's a new experience for me. <laughs> well done. Shall I take you home now? Uh, this is my car. Your hers? Yours. Oh! <laughs> then you shall take me home. Please sit down, Harold. I'll put the kettle on. We have a nice hot cup of tea. Oh, thank you, but I really have to go. Oh, oh but it's oat straw tea. You know that oat straw tea, have you? Nope. 
I had them take away that monstrous thing of yours and send this one round instead. So much more appropriate for you, don't you think? Oh, one thing more, Harold. I telephoned your second computer date this morning, and she seems a very nice, quiet girl. Cute little thing, isn't it? I like it very much. Do you enjoy knives? Oh, yes. Harold, everyone has the right to make an ass out of themselves. You can't let the world judge you too much. A very common neurosis, particularly in this society, whereby the male child subconsciously wishes to sleep with his mother. Of course, what puzzles me, Harold, is that you want to sleep with your grandmother Is the little tree all right? Oh, yeah. 